This is a really good question, so let's talk about asserts in your programs, okay? This commenter says, interesting you bring up error checking. I bring that up a lot. I've been fiddling with incorporation of assertion into my scripts and making sure inputs are as expected. What are your thoughts on this, especially when not to? It cuts off there, but basically like when to use assert, when not to use assert. This is going to depend on the language. I can talk about it abstractly, but then I can also talk about the language specifically. The reason I bring that up is because, let's talk about it. If we were programming in Bash, if we're writing a Bash script, we don't really have a cert. We'd have to just check things at runtime and then conditionally exit. So like, if this data is unset, then we call exit. That's the kind of the closest thing to an assert we have. If we're in a language like C, we have a cert. If we have the assert macro. That will be compiled out when you build like, you know, a production ready binary. You can conditionally compile those, leave those in or out during compilation. So typically during your development cycle, they're compiled in there because they have a runtime cost associated with them. And then when you compile your final product, they're gone. This is in contrast to a language like Rust. I use Rust as an example because if you use the assert or assert equal macro, they're there no matter what they never get compiled out. If you want that C style assert, you can use debug underbar assert, and that is a macro that will be conditionally compiled out. So the reason I talk about this is because there's all different approaches and different languages take different approaches, and I've seen people talk about them differently. So I can offer you my opinion, doesn't mean that it's the right one, but this is sort of the opinion that I take. I view assert statements, when I picture an assert statement in my head, I picture the C variant, the kind that's there during development, but then is compiled out meaning no critical code should be going through the assert statement. What I mean by that is when you make an assert statement, you assert that something is the case by the time you get there. I, I can think of all sorts of different examples, but imagine I had some sort of function and I, I take some sort of, uh, let's say an integer. Let's say I have a function that takes a file descriptor and a file descriptor is a signed integer. But in my function, in my code, the person should only ever be calling my function with a valid file descriptor. I say that. I say in order to call my function, you have to call it with a valid file descriptor. Technically speaking, the type would allow a negative number there, but that would be invalid. So do I check that at runtime? Well, no, I could bake that into the description of my function. I can say, hey, if you want to call my function, you got to give me a valid number. If you don't, undefined behavior. I don't know what's going to happen. So in that example, I would put an assert there because during development, I could catch cases where that happened, but during the final product, I don't need to actually check if it's a negative number. That's just an example. Um, if I were in Rust, I would probably just assert it or I would use some sort of strict uh, type checking there. But my point is I view assert statements like I view a fuse in an electrical circuit. Um, if everything's working right, they should never be tripped. But when something goes way off the rails, the fuse trips, the assert blows, and your program stops. That's how I view it.